Hey, what's up? Sunday morning. It's going to be warm today, and it's a little bit of race against time as I have a uh, gas light on, and I've got one bar on the camera. But we're going to try it anyway. So my job, my job's going to figure a lot in some of these things. I work in radio, been working in radio for about 25 years. You never know what's going to happen. I mean, between this and the nightclub business, which I was in for 10 years, the thing I'm most qualified to do now is daycare. But anyway, work for a number of different uh, types of radio stations, a number of different formats, do the morning show. So format really doesn't matter as much as far as the music's concerned because the morning show is a morning show. We do what we do. I was working on a rock station, and the Rolling Stones were coming to, I believe it was New Orleans, and it was a huge deal, so we decided to do a little contest called, what would you do for Stones tickets? And on the appointed day, my partner and I showed up to a local shopping center to do a live broadcast and a number of people came by to do a number of things. For some reason we decided to dress uh, in women's night dresses and hairnets. If I can find a picture I'll put it up, otherwise I'll pull it down, re-edit and add it in later. Nonetheless, we had several contestants and then we had two who didn't pre-qualify but said they'd do whatever we told us. So we started with them, and we poured honey all over this guy's body, and then we had this girl lick it off. That's what happens when you don't come up with your own ideas. They came in uh, third place. We had several other things. Someone kissed a bare butt cheek. A variety of different things. But then it came down to the... Uh, the final two and this was a little harder decision because one was a female who had the radio station logo tattooed on her boob which is pretty awesome I mean that's commitment and then we had another young airman who said he would eat live cockroaches on the air so, we see the uh, tattoo on the boob, and it's like, man, that's going to be tough to beat that. She actually put it on her skin. It's there for eternity. I guess by now it could have been turned into a rose or whatever. But at the time, that's pretty impressive, and she may still have it. So, it comes down to the airman and his cockroaches. Well, the owner's in town. He's listening. And we launch in with this guy, and he's, he's got cockroaches. He brought his own cockroaches. They're alive. And he starts eating them. And you could see at first he was gutting it up. First one went down. Second one went down. Third one went down. It was at that point that I found out later, the owner told us that he stopped listening. It's one of the first times, or the first time he's ever had to change his own radio station to something else. And uh, so there's three, there's four, there's five, there's six. And then on the seventh one, I don't know, a gag reflex or whatever kicked in. And he bit down and bit one of those things in half and swallowed half of it. The other half fell out on the ground. So technically he ate six and a half cockroaches live. But we had a dilemma. Committed ink on the boob or roach boy. So what we ended up doing was giving them an option. They could uh, go together, 
or we would designate a, a definite winner. But since they were both so committed, a guy and a girl, neither one were attached. We gave them the option of splitting the pair of tickets and each getting one, both going. So we'd have a co number one, which is what they uh, agreed to do. So flash forward about two or three weeks later, and we run into uh, a buddy. Excuse me, lane chain. A buddy of um, the airman who ate the cockroaches. And I say, hey, remember you guys are out supporting your buddy eating the cockroaches. How did you like the show? And they said, yeah, he never made it, dude. And I said, what? And he said, yeah, he got sick as a dog later that day. And I went, really, what happened? And he said, well, we were sitting uh, at lunch on a, at a picnic table. And he looked kind of green in the gills, but he was doing okay. And then all of a sudden he started kind of gagging and coughing and then all of a sudden he coughed hard and a live cockroach came flying out of his mouth and landed on the picnic table. Now the morning show happened between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. so roughly about 7, 8 a.m. this guy ate live cockroaches and at somewhere around lunchtime he's spitting up live cockroaches. He said at that point, the kid turned gray and started hurling all over the place, had to be sent home, and he did not make the concert. <laughs> yeah, what people will do. So anyway, that's my job. More stories at some point. That's my job. Have a good one.